Despite having one of the most polarizing finales, the 1990s sitcom Roseanne enjoyed nine successful seasons. Reaping the benefits of that success were the stars that brought the Connor family to life. It's been over 20 years since the show went off the air, and with talks of a revival circulating the internet, we couldn't help but wonder, where are they now? Estelle Parsons, Beverly Harris. Parsons is more than just a TV mother. She's an Academy Award-winning actress, an inductee of the American Theater Hall of Fame, and an overall respected actress. After Roseanne ended, Parsons fulfilled every actor's obligation and appeared on Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. Outside of the Roseanne revival, Parsons' schedule is a little light these days, allowing her the chance to direct a revival of The Last Days of Judas Iscariot in March of 2017 and spend time with husband and NYPD police monitor Peter Zimruth. Glenn Quinn, Mark Healy Quinn played the role of clueless greaser so well, you may be surprised to find that, behind the slicked back hair and leather jackets, was a proficient Irish actor that later joined the cast of Angel. After Roseanne, Quinn popped up here and there, like in four episodes of Fair City, and co-owned the Goldfingers nightclub in Los Angeles, but it wasn't enough to curb his greatest vice. On December 3rd, 2002, Quinn was pronounced dead from what an autopsy later confirmed to be a heroin overdose. Johnny Galecki, David Healy, Likey needs an introduction. Maybe the most timid of the Connor household, Galecki's career erupted when he signed on with The Big Bang Theory in 2006. What he did between Roseanne's ending and signing up for the TBS show is dwarfed by his $1 million per episode salary. But if you're curious, he remained rather busy with roles in movies like I Know What You Did Last Summer, Hancock, and 2016's The Master Cleanse. In 2017, Galecki will make even more money with Psyjinx, a practical joke show with a scientific twist. Also, for some reason, he still made an appearance in 2017's Rings. Laurie Metcalf, Jackie Harris. If there's one thing we learned from Scream 2, it's that Metcalf was really putting on a show when portraying Roseanne's frail sister. Since Roseanne and her attempt at Sidney Prescott's life, Metcalf has kept incredibly busy and even joined Galecki with guest spots as Sheldon's mother on The Big Bang Theory. In April of 2017, Metcalf put that BA in theater to use again with an award-worthy performance in A Doll's House Part 2. Far from done with television and movies, you can still catch Metcalf in The Accidental Wolf, Lady Bird, and Toy Story 4, which is scheduled for 2019. Sarah Chalk, Becky Connor. In the red corner in the Battle of the Beckys, we have Sarah Chalk, the lovable and personable actress that took over for Lisey Gorenson starting in 1993. Chalk closed out the series and her career just kept on going, speckled with short and long-term guest appearances on a variety of TV shows. In 2001, Chalk enjoyed years of success as Dr. Elliot Reed on Scrubs and joined the cast of How I Met Your Mother for 10 episodes. The replacement Becky is back to a regular gig as a mother to two, wife to a lawyer, and voice of Beth Smith on Rick and Morty. Alicia Gorenson, Becky Connor, best known as Lisey or the Becky who gave up the paycheck for college and the cast member that never watched the finale. Gorenson exited Roseanne in season five to further her education at Vassar College. After returning for several episodes in the eighth season, sharing the spotlight with Chalk as her school schedule required, Gorenson left the show completely in season nine. Why are we hinged on Lisey's past? Well, because there isn't much to her post-Roseanne acting career, save some brief spots on Law & Order Special Victims Unit, Damages, and Inside Amy Schumer, and short films like The Wood House, although in 2018, she's slated to appear in Buck Run. Sarah Gilbert, Darlene Connor. Who would have thought that the super cynical daughter of Roseanne would eventually wind up sitting beside Sharon Osbourne and Julie Chen for seven seasons on the talk? Okay, okay, so Gilbert is far less brooding than her 90s television persona, which shows in her career and in her personal life. Married to four non-blondes frontwoman Linda Perry and mother of three, Gilbert has kept active, ensuring to not let the grass grow under her feet. Gilbert took roles on 24, Twins, ER, Bad Teacher, and The Big Bang Theory, but has kept the bulk of her attention focused on her daytime Emmy Award-winning talk show. Michael Fishman, DJ Connor. 
From verbal punching bag for his sisters to awkward teenager, Roseanne fans watched Fishman grow, but due to his absence on camera since the show ended, most have missed when he sprouted into the ringer for a Calvin Klein model that he is today. Fishman's career has been mostly off-camera, save for television guest spots, a role in AI, artificial intelligence, and a brief stint as co-host on The Roseanne Show. Fishman returned to acting after Quinn's death and starred in Undrafted and is slated to appear in Adi Shankar's Gods and Secrets. John Goodman, Dan Connor. After being unceremoniously killed off at the show's closing, Goodman showed that a terrible series finale wouldn't keep him down. With a filmography already stocked with great movies like Raising Arizona, 10 Cloverfield Lane, The Big Lebowski, Monsters, Inc., and Trumbo, Goodman could probably retire. But if his schedule shows anything, it's that, unlike with his body, he has no intention of slimming down his workload. In 2017 alone, Goodman is slated for Once Upon a Time in Venice, Transformers, The Last Night, Valerian, and The City of a Thousand Planets, and Spring Break 83. And that doesn't even include his role in Kong, Skull Island, and Bunyan and Babe. In 2018, you can see him living amongst aliens in captive state. Roseanne Barr, Roseanne Connor, former Green Party candidate, television mother, stand-up comedian. Is there anything Roseanne Barr can't do? Well, maybe not sing. Though the acting hasn't been her main priority since Roseanne ended, Barr has appeared here and there on shows like Portlandia, The Office, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and films like Cecil B. Demented and Master of a Good Name. Keeping her the busiest throughout the years has been her stand-up comedy, a 2012 race for the presidency, her Hawaiian macadamia nut farm, learning Kabbalah, and dealing with a case of macular degeneration and glaucoma. If you want your daily dose of Roseanne, however, you can follow her on Twitter at TheRealRoseanne and Instagram at OfficialRoseanneBar.